What is up guys, it's your bro back with you another video. We're gonna have a uh, sneak peek on the Atlassian Robo AI chatbot. Alright, so I got surprised when I actually saw this icon right here. And when you actually click on it, you have the options to write your prompts. No, this is not ChatGPT. This is not uh, something like that. And yeah, the very first thing that you actually have in here is you have your own agents. You also have the option to create an agent itself. You have like the uh, user manual writer, decision director, product requirements expert. Okay, this is pretty great. So we have also for to go for the full screen. Let's go for the full screen. Let's focus. Let's just focus on the on the robo itself. All right. So this is what we have in here. Uh, right. So this is where you write your prompts. Okay. And to get the answer, generate new ideas and accelerate everyday work. Okay, so now, if I want to, um, I want if I want to, if I want to, let's say, how let let me ask how many projects do I have in my instance? Let me see if 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 it actually can answer that. So it's first reviewing, right? Okay. Okay. So this is what it's having. It's saying you have 54 projects in your instance. So you have the full list of the issues associated with these projects. Okay. And in, it's now saying that I have 54, 54 issues uh, of 50 54 projects in your instance wow this is actually pretty um pretty interesting and it also it gives me the um the suggestions that i want to ask and i'm gonna say can i export the project list okay let me see I couldn't find specific instructions in exporting the project directly from Jira. However, you can try following general approach. You can use uh, Jira REST API. Right, manual export. If the number of projects seem manageable, you can manually copy the project names and details into a spreadsheet or to use uh, the Jira REST API or third party tools. Okay. What else can I actually uh, ask in here? Can I ask what is Scrum? Let me see if it's going to give me uh, the answer basically in here. It is. It is. And it's not giving me that. Um, it's not giving me that uh, vague response that you get from ChatGPT that it's like one miles long and you don't know what is going on in there and you just get totally confused so it's saying it's an agile framework used for developing delivering and sustaining complex products is a process framing that has been used to manage work and complex products since since the early 1990s Scrum is structured in a way that allows teams to incorporate practices from other frame frameworks where applicable. Key components of Scrum. Roles, artifacts, events, values. Very nice. So it gave me the whole um, explanation. And you can write other prompts. And it says content is based on your permissions and quality may vary. So you also need to know that as well. What else can we actually check in here? So 
so this is this is going to be based around your teams right so can i ask something like um how can i create a basic pipeline in bit bucket for example all right all right let's see here uh okay and it actually gave me the code wow all right i couldn't find specific instructions of creating basic pipeline from available resources however i can provide you with a general overview how to set up a basic pipeline in bitbucket itself so you can create bitbucket pipelines you can create a basic pump pipeline which is going to be this one right here commit and push the file once you de define commit the bit bucket file enable the pipelines monitor the pipeline right okay and then it's going further how do how do i add deployment steps what are the common pipeline errors and things like that and it keeps asking me questions right okay let me see here how many confluence administrators do i do i have so let me see if it's going to answer me this let me see i'm just curious couldn't find specific about you might want to check your conference administration content id support okay all right fair enough uh yeah i can maybe go and say and say something like uh, can you create an issue in jira let me ask it can it really yes i can help create an issue in jira please provide the details you want to such as project issue type summary description assignee at if any so i'm going to say wow okay so project is going to be project is going to be okay project engineering issue type task summary hello from Robo AI description going to say made with AI assignee unassigned all right let me see if it's going to create an issue okay create a task all right it's taking longer than usual okay something went wrong try opening this in Jira okay so it might have some issues in there so it might uh, it might still take some time to create uh create things something's gone wrong okay but it does give you that option okay it does give you that option as well so like uh it just needs to be full fully developed okay so if I go back to chat right now, if I don't need this chat at all, so I have the agents in here, right? So it's gonna be like, all right, user manual, okay, 
user manual writer writing user manual okay help me make my first user manual write a user manual for using the Atlassian Robo okay let's see how is it going to help me with this all right but it's saying that I don't have a specific for it but I can guide you how you can actually do this and it's saying introduction mention the target audience for the manual getting started explain how to how to access provide the instructions if necessary key features using Atlassian Robo troubleshooting FAQs appendix and and etc etc and I'm going to say well what are the main features of Robo let's see but I couldn't find main features with Atlassian Robo if you have any documentations related to Atlassian Robo I suggest checking those for well all right okay this is uh, kind of interesting for not having the uh, documentation on Robo when the Robo is actually doing the uh, the work but 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 okay it is what it is I mean it's this was not even planned to be released like really that soon you know and this is this is something that is that is real uh, that I really like I can uh, if I want I can create an agent as well so I can do that let me see here let's create your agent and you can say you know what I can go ahead hi I'm happy tell me what your age what you want your agent to do I want my agent to provide my engineers with any code related question questions okay let me see if this is possible great I set up the initial profile for your agents now let's decide the name your code companion uh, no, I would like a name of Matrix more. Let's see. The name Matrix has been confirmed for your agent. Now, let's refine the agent's restrictions to better suit your needs. To start, what specific goals or knowledge do you want Matrix to focus on assisting your in engineering with code related questions? Uh, how to debug some syntax errors? How to write cleaner code? Um, how to leverage AI with their code let's see let's see if this is uh and it's saying now look it's saying now you're an expert assistant that helps engineers with any code related questions that they may have you can provide explanations, code snippets, debugging tips, and best practices across various programming languages and frameworks. You should focus on helping engineers debug syntax errors, write clearing code, and leverage AI in their coding practices. You are knowledgeable, precise, and efficient in your responses. Okay. Next, are there any specific task requirements your matrix your you want matrix to be capable of performing for your engineers? Um, hmm, 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 hmm. 
uh, yeah, for every new uh, task that a developer creates, I want you to create free test cases for them. Okay, so I'm now diving deeper. For every new task the developer creates, you should create free test cases for them. I've updated Matrix to create free test test cases for every new task a developer. Now let's consider the tone and style for the responses. How would you like the Matrix to communicate with your engineer? Should it be formal, friendly, concise, or detailed? Concise. Engineers love when things are concise and when they are straight to the point and when everything is being, you know, explained. So I want it to be concise. I've updated lastly, are there any specific constraints or things the matrix should emphasize to avoid when assisting your engineers? Um, Don't let them use the code to them to paste any code. Don't let them do that. Okay. Would you like to make any further or I am ready. Right. Great. You're all set to test the matrix. If you need any further adjustments or assistance in the future, feel free to reach out. Good luck to your coding endeavors. There we go. Okay. Create. Now I have my agent. It's now called the matrix. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. And I can browse the the uh, the matrix. The matrix <laughs> can edit the agent. Oh, nice. Uh, can I add in a picture here? No, I cannot. Ah, that's a bummer. I really like to put a matrix picture in here, but okay, it's fine. But at least I have my agent in here and I can go back and chat again. Wow. A lot of stuff that you can actually do with Robo and this is only the beginning. I really, I really am looking forward to this. Maybe I'm going to start doing the whole, um, the whole uh, series on the Robo itself like uh, how to how to get some of the uh, basic things to count the projects and uh, and to do any of those things that are basically related to the AI things and the things that can actually really help help um, us out to use and leverage the AI in the most possible way that we can but yeah that is everything that I um, that I wanted to say about this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the uh, channel as well. See you folks in the next video. Bye-bye.